Hello everybody, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com. In this video, we're gonna be going through a self-install of the new version 5.1 of the SR Lounge preset system. Now, of course, with 5.1, we have included an automatic Mac and Windows installer program that's gonna install the entire preset system for you. But in case there are any issues, if you've run those programs and you don't see your presets showing up, then we also have included self-install instructions, and I wanted to make this self-install video just to show you guys how to do it so we can get you up and running. And if you do have have any bugs or any issues with the installer, please shoot it over to us at contactsrlounge.com just so we can make updates and fixes to the installers. Now the process is fairly simple. All we're going to do first is open up Lightroom and this is going to work the exact same way whether you're on Mac or on a Windows machine. Here we're on Windows, but either way it's going to be the same. We're going to start by hitting control comma or command comma on a Mac. This is going to bring up our preferences dialog. Now all we'll do here is just go to the presets tab and we're just going to have Lightroom pull up the Lightroom presets folder. So on Windows, it's gonna pull this up on a Windows Explorer window. On Mac, it's gonna pull it up in a Finder window. Now what I'm gonna do is just drag and drop this over to the right side of the screen. You can also hit Windows right, or you can use a Mac shortcut if you know it. I don't use OS X enough to know the shortcut, or if, even if there is a shortcut, to move Windows around automatically. On the left side, we're just gonna pull up our downloaded preset system. So here we have 01, which is the Mac installer, 02, which is the Windows installer, and then what we'll be using is the 03 self-install folder. Folder. So let's just double click into this folder now. And here we have the develop presets, export presets, and local adjustment presets. Now before we go ahead and drag and drop these into the Lightroom folder, if you do have a previous installation of the Lightroom preset system, let's say you have the Lightroom 4 preset system, then you wanna remove those presets and back up your mixologies or whatever custom presets you've made just so things don't basically get overwritten. You also want to remove everything because a lot of the names have changed in the new system and you'll have a lot of duplicate presets if you don't remove that stuff. The other thing we wanna do is make sure that we back up any previous presets that we might have created on our own outside of the preset system or presets that we might have installed Installed from other makers, from other software companies. So what we're gonna do is go into this Lightroom folder. We're gonna jump into the develop presets folder. Now here we actually have the new installation of the Lightroom presets. So this is version five, but we're gonna remove it. We're gonna pretend that this is version four. So what we're gonna do is remove everything with the exception of my mixology. And with my mixology, what I'm gonna do is actually, uh, well, we have a couple different options here. Let's just go over to the left side. Let's create a new folder. I'm gonna call this backup. We can call it preset backup. Okay, so I'm gonna delete everything that's the previous SR Lounge preset system. Again, don't delete your stuff that might be from other software companies, okay? So hit delete, and then what we're gonna do is just move, or we can just copy in this content into our backup. So let's just put it right here in the preset backup. Okay, so any other stuff that you wanna save, like from other preset makers, put into your preset backup. Now, we're gonna do the same thing with the local adjustment presets, but just to note, the local adjustment presets really haven't changed much, and you can just directly you know, copy the, the new ones into this folder. But just to uh, kind of show you how to do this, we're just gonna go and select this, and we're gonna delete everything. I'm just hitting Control A or Command A to select all these presets, and I'm just hitting Delete to remove them. We're gonna go up to the preset, uh, the export presets, we also have the SR Lounge preset system, the three export presets that are included. I'm gonna delete these two. We're gonna assume that those are the previous version. Now, for Windows users, all you have to do at this point is just go back a couple folders until you see Lightroom. You're gonna take the develop, export, and local adjustment presets. I'm holding down shift, or you can hold control, and select all three of those by clicking on them, and we're gonna drag and drop them into the Lightroom folder. I'm gonna right click and drag and drop so that way I can say copy here instead of moving it. Now at that point, everything is just gonna go and automatically update into the new folders. If you're on a Mac, this is the only thing I would caution you about. If you're on a Mac, oftentimes, depending on the operating system version, when you drag and drop a folder that has the same name, like say develop presets here into develop presets here, instead of combining or merging those two folders, what it does is it actually replaces the contents inside of there. So just remember that if you have any contents left inside of here, your 
you're safer just going into the develop presets and dragging the contents into this folder as opposed to dragging a folder on top of each other because it will replace. Okay, we want to make that note because a lot of people in the previous version, they either didn't see the instructions or uh, they didn't watch the instructions or whatever. And so they ended up replacing presets that they previously had installed that they didn't back up. But that's also why we backed up our presets that we wanted to keep anyway. Now, so once you have these dragged and dropped into each of these little sections, develop, local adjustments and export, you're pretty much done. All we got to do now is just copy back our mixologies. And what we're going to do is go into Lightroom and develop presets. And here we have the My Mixology folder. Well, we actually copied the entire thing right here anyway. So all I'm going to do is just drag and drop this folder back. But what you could do is just take the contents from your previous mixology and drag it into the new My Mixology folder. For me, all I'm going to do is since I have this folder already there is I'm just going to drag the folder back. And by the way, if you're running the installers, any custom My Mixology folders like this My Mixology Pi, that's not going to be replaced when I make a new installation. So it's not going to replace anything if you've custom named it. Even if you haven't, it's not going to replace anything in here as well. But just to be safe, I like to back it up and go that route. I'm going to delete this My Mixology username here because we have that folder right there. And all we're going to do is just close down now Lightroom. And uh, let's just exit out of there. Let's okay, close it up. And then we're just going to re-enter Lightroom and it should recognize all the new presets that we've installed. So just remember to close it down and open it back up. Otherwise, it's not going to refresh all of the presets. Let's see here. There we go. Okay, once you're in, you guys can go to the develop module by hitting D. And on the left side, you should see all the presets now right here on the left. We have all of our mixologies that have been saved uh, that we backed up and transferred back in and everything else is here. Your brush presets are going to be over here on the right. You can see if you click on the effect, you can see all the different brush, graduated filter, radial filter presets and so forth. And then uh, under preferences, or sorry, under export, if we hit Control Shift E, Command Shift E on a Mac to bring up the export dialog, we can see the SR Launch preset system export actions. All right, so Lightroom 4, Lightroom 5, the process is exactly the same. Hopefully, this helped you guys out in the manual installation or the self installation of the preset system. Again, if you have any questions, be sure to let us know. Thanks a bunch, and we'll see you all in the next video.